So my name is Ryan Bouillet, I'm the executive chef of Affair Extraordinaire. It's just truly that balance that he's just this fun, regular guy that has a really great job that he takes super seriously. People hire us for a very specific reason. Um, they hire us because they want the best. And the way that we do that is not by saying we're the best, it's by doing the best. You're only as good as your last dish, your last event. You know, when I first got to Affair Extraordinaire, I was uh, I, I was a restaurant chef, and I came in, and you know, I was kind of hired to kind of revamp everything and, and kind of update stuff. And our kitchen wasn't built for it, and it, you know, they were very reluctant, especially me walking in off the street, uh, being introduced, and then two weeks later, you're the executive chef. Now, everyone, you have to listen to this guy. Like anyone else, I made some mistakes in the beginning, you know, but I. I I figured out what our team was capable of, uh, also what they needed to be capable of as well, and so kind of pushing them to the direction that we needed to be. There's a stigma to catering where it's like, oh, it's really easy, and you know, you just open things up and put it in the oven. What we're trying to do, and at least what I think other caterers in the city, at least the better caterers in the city, are getting away from that and like actually using raw product and, and cooking it themselves and taking it, you know, trying to replicate a restaurant as best as they possibly can. Whereas like in a restaurant, you're kind of just prepping up raw product to cook it when the, when the ticket comes in. Whereas we are, we know what our menu is, we know how many people it's gonna be before we even, you know, start the, our processes. We only order what we need and we don't really store things. It's like once it comes in the door, it's processed within three days and it's out the door. And so it's not like we just have tons and tons of food sitting around in our, in our walk-in like a restaurant would have. You know, it's the hardest part about being a chef sometimes is um, you don't, what you think is great doesn't mean it is great. Just because you like it, just because you're, it fits your flavor profile or it fits the things that you're really into. A lot of people don't live to eat. You know, um, and so you kind of have to find a balance between the two, like impress people with what you know, but at the same time, shut up sometimes and just and just cook, you know, let people appreciate it themselves. To me, it's like that's what's really impressive and special about AFE is that like we make those things where people are like, I can't believe that you did this. And to us, it's routine. And it's like, that's what we do. It's like we make you believe. My favorite part about Ryan is when I get to work with him in a very small capacity, so I can actually see his creativity with the food that he does. And he really goes the extra mile in creating something for the client, and it's nothing that you've ever seen before. The most fun and creative part about the job is uh, making something that you've never made before for a client and just making them happy that you, you got as close as you possibly could to uh, what their dream was. Almost everything about cooking goes back to that. Was everyone happy? <laughs>